some pieces back here and uh, the lineup that you want. Definitely. As guys are coming back, we're expanding the package a little more. You know, the way in my, my head, how I coach a scheme, technique, effort. And the guys that haven't had a chance to practice, they've been around spring ball. They understand our scheme. You know, we're adding a little more stuff they haven't been able to see. But understanding the scheme and now getting the rust off, the technique part. Mm -hmm. So they're doing a good job with that and uh, just staying focused, locked in each day. You know, I got to keep them mentally engaged, right? So as they're coming back, they're picking it up, getting reps. So everybody's getting better. Coach Brom has been impressed with Reese Taylor in camp. Talk about Reese and what you think of him. You know, it's, it's easy to be impressed with a guy that's made just about every practice, right? So he has had time to uh, demonstrate what he can do for us. and. We have him in the field a lot. He wants to play in more than boundaries, so we're giving him reps both places to be ready for the game. But uh, he's, he's just an insti instinctual kind of player, you know? So just getting him locked in on the technique, he's believed it from the first day. So he's just getting more reps, getting more comfortable, and being more aggressive attacking the football. What about the process of bringing <clears throat> Jamari Brown, Corey Trice back? I know it's been a slow build. It sounds like they're probably going to be ready for that opener, but. So just discuss their, their work in camp and then come back in. Yeah, those guys are sprinters. They just want to be back right now. So, you know, I try to do a good job controlling their reps and helping them, you know, progress back to the, you know, they they think they're already ready for a game day. So we just got to help them scheme-wise, make sure they're 100% on the scheme and technique. You know, more reps, they'll be better. I think uh, they're pretty close right now. Where's your depth going to come from? We have um, uh, Callaway. Brandon Callaway, really good player. He's developed a lot. He plays both ways for us. And uh, he's, you know, uh, he his anticipation for the ball has been, for reading routes has improved a lot. And just uh, breaking on the ball, attacking the football at the end of the play, he's 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 made a lot of PBUs. So he's shown, he's shown up on tape a lot. Right. Even our D-line coach is asking about him. <laughs> <laughs> he's a fourth cornerback? You know, uh, that's what the D coordinators say. So right now, <laughs> you know, we got guys getting reps and deciding you know, how things will play out right before the, the final week for Penn State. Is this Bryce Hampton playing some corner? We, he, we mixed him in here and there just, you know, for his security purposes. But now that everybody's coming back, he's getting a lot of reps at safety and nickel. And he's a, he's a Swiss Army knife, right? He's a very good athlete, and we're putting him in different places to have an opportunity to get on the field. What about Javon Grigsby? Griggs is, uh, he, he, when I got here, he was a safety. And so right now we got him at corner. He's getting reps there. He's doing a good job. Uh, he's definitely better in the field, and he's working on the boundary stuff. So he's definitely improving day in, day out. So I think he got a lot of reps in the spring before he got hurt, and then uh, now in the fall he's, he's been with the corners the whole time. So he's adjusting well. And you watched a lot of film on Corey Tries, but now that you've seen him in person, when you look at the, the total package of athletic ability that he can bring and everything else, what – What's his ceiling? Oh, he's definitely a, he's he's definitely a cheat code. You know, it's not a lot of six three guys that can run like that. You know, I'll uh, before taking the job, watching a couple clips. Uh, it's called foot fire, getting out of your brakes at the top of the break. And for being a big guy and being able to do that, that's uh, that's pretty impressive. So um, I was very excited to get him coached up. And you know, what I like most about him is I can keep it real with him. Meaning, I, if I see it, I can critique him on it, and he'll say, Coach, how do I get it better? You know, so he does want to get better. We're getting, you know, now that he's out here, he knows he can really work on it. And he's just, he's actually just happy to be out here. Honestly, you, the way he practices, you can, you can tell. So it's really been fun working with him and how he helps uh, control the rooms, get the mentality guys ready to work out here. Just uh, keep helping him with leadership and we'll be good. How do you define success with your group? Success as a team, just winning, right? Doing what it takes to help the team win. That's, that's why we're here. So success, you know, off the field, just getting guys working towards their goals. On the field each day, you know, everybody here in practice has something else going on outside of in, in their life, right? But how can you get the guys to be locked in here on the field for two hours? And that's what we focus on, just being locked in. Every rep matters, you know, don't take anything for granted because there's a lot of kids that want to play Division One and they're not here right now. So we, we try to make the, the most of every indie peer we have, every Skelly peer we have, every team peer we have, and just keep building upon that. And as we go in, they ask good questions because they really do want to get better. They ask good questions on, you know, the scheme part of it, and they come and execute the next day. And we have more problems, and we correct those. So, you know, it's, just, it's a vicious cycle. So it's, uh, it's fun just being in that position to help them see it and critique them and help them get better. Uh, 
I think Jamari said he's under 200 pounds now. He's lost some weight. He said he wanted to get faster. Are you seeing that speed and explosiveness kind of show up here in Paul Camp? He's just getting I, – I give him a hard time. I told him I'm faster than him right now. So that's a, <laughs> I, that's a challenge. So he's trying to prove it every day in practice, running, you know, trying to run as fast. I'm try, I got to slow him down, though. So we want him for Penn State, right? We want him for the season. So, But, no, he's definitely – I mean, you know, personally, I like him at 200. He, he fits his size and, you know, so – Anywhere around there, he's he's an explosive player. So we just got to get him technique-wise just to be consistent, and uh, he'll be good.